Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Lily and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Lily's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use with her while we're working her through her commands, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Lily has been fitted with her own personal training collar, and we will be sure to show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now, as you can see, Lily is seated very nicely on Fred's left-hand side, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing, and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Lily take off doing that now and the command that you're going to use is Lily heal and you're going to start walking and Lily should fall in line nicely, healing appropriately at your play, pace, not lagging behind on that leash or lunging ahead on that leash. She should be right around your left heel position there. Also incorporated into the healing exercise is the automatic sit, which you just saw occur. So anytime that you're out walking with Lily and you stop, she should sit nicely. There's another example. The next command they're going to demonstrate for you is the stay command, and the stay command is a hand and a voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay. stay. You're then going to walk out to the end of your training leash. Now Lily should remain seated in this position throughout the entire command and she should not break. This is a great command to practice frequently throughout your day to help build up Lily's ability to sit and stay for longer periods of time. When you're practicing at home, you want to start at one minute, and over time in your training sessions, you'll increase your time intervals, reaching a total of three minutes for your long sit stay. When Fred returns back, he walks all the way around her counterclockwise, returning back to heel position so that she is on his left hand side. Very nicely done. And they're going to demonstrate their heel sit and stay for you again. You did see Fred bend over there and give her a little pet on the head. It is very important that when working Lily through her commands and she completes them appropriately for you, that you let her know so by using lots of positive reinforcement to keep her motivated. This can be used either verbal praise, telling her she's a good girl, or physical praise by petting her. So Fred left her in another sit-stay and he walks out to the end of the leash. He is going to let Lily hold her sit-stay for a moment and then they are going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. For this command you're going to call Lily in, Lily come. She should come in and sit directly in front of you and then heel her around the back of you, returning her to your left hand side again where she should sit nicely waiting for her next command and they'll demonstrate that again. Leave her in a sit stay, walk out to the end of the leash. Give her a moment to hold her sit stay. When you call her in you're going to use the command Lily come. Lily come. Gather up your leash as she comes directly in front of you, making sure she sits nicely. Heel her around the back of you, returning her to your left hand side where she sits nicely. Very nicely done. Now we recommend that when Lily first comes home that you are practicing her commands with her both indoors as well as outdoors so that you're generalizing your commands in both environments. We also recommend that at first you pick an area with little to no distractions so that way you and Lily are able to focus one on one. Now you saw Fred give a tug and release correction there. He told her no and a tug and release and gave her a correction because she did not sit right away. The next command they're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. For this command you're going to use your left hand again but straight down towards the ground and the one word command to down. Stay. Then give the stay command and walk out to the end of your leash. With the long down stay this is another command that you want to practice frequently throughout your day to build up Lily's ability to down stay for longer periods of time. 
Again, for the down stay, she should remain laying down in this position throughout the entire command and she should not break from this position. When you're practicing at home, start at three minutes and increase your intervals over your training sessions, working up to a total of five minutes. If you're having a difficult time at first, having Lily down stay for three minutes, drop your time down a little bit and then over time, increase your intervals. It's returning back now, again walking all the way around her behind counterclockwise. Turns back to heel position. And he heels her out of that. And they will demonstrate that again. We also recommend that when Lily first comes home, at least for the first two to four weeks, that although you should be practicing your commands daily, generalizing them, you should set aside about 15 minutes every day to practice her commands in a formal obedience training session. Practice makes perfect and it will help with Lily understanding there's new rules while she's transitioning back into the home. So Fred leaves her in a down stay again, walks out to the end of the leash, and he's going to give her a moment and then they'll demonstrate the recall the come on command from the down position where she gets up, comes right on in. Good girl. This last command that they are setting up for would be our down from a distance. And for this command, you're going to leave her in a sit stay, walk out to the end of your training leash. From the end of the training leash, you're going to use your right hand to give her the down command. Down. Now she she didn't go down the first time. Fred told her no, and she self-corrected herself as he repeated the command again. Very important to follow through and make sure that she completes the command that you are requesting from her. Good girl. Now this next part of the video that we're going to be demonstrating for you is the very beginnings of advanced off-leash training. This is something that you can practice with Lily down the road after she has become accustomed to completing all of her commands on leash and collar for you 100% of the time. If you're very diligent with it and follow through, the sooner you'll be able to drop the leash and increase your distance during your sit stays and your down stays. Again, this is something that you would work up to after she's completed all her commands for you 100% of the time on leash. And as you can see, we don't necessarily remove the leash right away, we just drop the leash. So that way, if you needed to correct her, you can go over and grab the leash to give her a correction. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Lily has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Lily and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.